Man, power up. And power up they did. Red Alliance moving. The Beak Squad showing us why they're in first place, autonomously taking possession of the scale for the Red Alliance. And they're not done yet. Picking up a power cube and taking possession of the switch as well. The Red Alliance is well served by the high flying Beak Squad. Power cube in possession and they shoot that cube out with authority. Blue Alliance has possession of their own switch and 6414 trying to deliver. Trying to deliver another power cube to the Blue Alliance driver station and they do. Blue Alliance having power cubes delivered into their vault. They already have three power cubes and activate the blue levitate power up. Here comes the Beak Squad loading up another power cube. 5740, trying to make things hard for the for the Red Alliance, loading up a power cube. On the Red Alliance switch, Blue Alliance trying to make the Red Alliance lose their possession, but they haven't yet. Red Alliance activate their Levitate power up, so both alliances have a free climb for endgame. Power cube just off the end. Blue Alliance has had possession of the scale all match. And now Blue Alliance has activated the force power up, although it seems like they had possession of everything anyway. 45-21 for the Blue Alliance with a power cube trying to get it up there. And we have just about 30 seconds left. And the Red Alliance in a commanding lead, although it could come down to the climbs. 45-21, last time we saw them, they had a successful climb. And we had to cut them down because we couldn't get them off. 45-21, undeterred, trying to load up 57-40. The Beak Squad loading up. We've got two double climbs, two assisted climbs lifting up. And the scale gets bumped by 6414 on their way past. Let's see the results of that match. It was the Red Alliance taking it. Red Alliance 402, Blue Alliance 97.